One of the first things that we want to do at this property is to plant an orchard and there's already an area, area here that the previous owners had an orchard. All the trees were dead and so we're going to clear the area. I'm going to start by just mowing it because the grass is really tall. At some point here we're going to lay out where all the posts are going to go, dig the holes, build a fence and get the orchard set up and ready to go. frame I had these leftover 2x4s that were painted white they were 16 feet long from the other house that I never used and I cut them down so it's a little over four feet and the 61 inches that I need for here I'm gonna add a cross whoa, across this way to strengthen it up and then we'll see how strong that is and maybe add um, some gussets on the corners <laughs> I finished building the frame for the gate. Now I need to put the wire around it and I'm gonna use the same wire uh, that I used on the fence. And if you can see behind me, uh, because I wasn't able to finish on Friday, um, <clears throat> I just ran the fence all the way across here. This is where the, this is where the gate's gonna go. So I'm just gonna snip it here and then I'll use that piece there to put on the gate. Are very much not gate hinges. Uh, I have a bunch of them from the old house. I don't care. I don't care what they look like. I'm gonna put them on. Put three if that's not good enough. Put four. I got a bunch. So the other day my wife brought out some food for the dog. She put two food bowls out and went inside to grab a couple of old beds. When she came back with the beds, the food was just covered in yellow jackets. So the dogs didn't want to go anywhere near it. I went to the store and bought four uh, yellow jacket traps and I put one here in the dog area and I'll show you what it looks like. This is less than two days of yellow jackets. I don't know how many is in there. I'm gonna guess over a hundred and they're still swarming around here so hopefully we can take care of most of them. So the house that we just left had a bunch of brick. This darker brick that you see right here that was just all around the property and honestly, there was probably 10 times that amount um, around all the flower beds, around the lawns, all over the place. And the bricks you see back there in the background, the lighter bricks, those are the bricks that I tore down when I redid the stove giant brick wall thing and put um, shiplap up. Um, I do have a video about that, so if you want, uh, check that one out. 
but those are the leftover brakes. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those yet. These darker ones, I'm gonna put a little sort of patio down here for the dog so that when it rains, it's not super muddy where they have their bed, so. Northern California has had a bunch of wildfires lately and the air quality is not so good. We got an alert today that said it is unhealthy. Just for the sake of health, I'm gonna wear a one of these uh, disposable masks for today uh, while I'm working out here. Might as well be safe. The area back here is not super flat, but it doesn't really need to be. This isn't to make a perfect patio. All it needs to be is elevated off the dirt so the dog's, dog beds don't get super muddy. I'm just gonna put a bunch of bricks down and we'll see how it looks later. Okay, so I have those two cross boards up there. They're just two by fours. Um, and now hopefully they're not too tall for me to get the kayaks up there. So I'm gonna see how easy it is to put them up and take them back down. And maybe I will change that up if it is too difficult. We'll see. I think that went easy enough. The kayaks are kind of annoying to handle. They're not super heavy, they're just slippery and not a lot of good uh, handholds. But if I put the front up first and then I can just kind of shove it up there and flip it over, it works pretty well. So I think we'll leave it like that for now. And if I think of something else to change in the future, we'll do that. <laughs> After my failed attempt at trying to get that branch out of the tree, um, I hired some local guys to come and uh, take the tree down and they rented this lift, which um, by the numbers written on it, looks like it's a 50 foot lift. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully they dropped it off here tonight and they're coming first thing in the morning uh, to drop that branch. So hopefully that goes pretty smooth. We'll see what happens in the morning.
So the tree guys just left and there's all the branches and stuff down on the ground. So I'm gonna go through and clean everything up and probably just drag the branches out here uh, farther away from the house so we have that nice 100 foot uh, fire barrier between vegetation and the house. And then I'll probably cut up some of the stuff for firewood and uh, I don't know how much is gonna be here, but we'll see.